Bounties for posting bounties and me impose law sure. and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. <laughs> it's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just, it's just what happens when you get man. brought in by old Raptor Jesus, ma'am. To exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. Welcome so back to my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption. How's everyone here? doing today? Just the two of us. Well, she's trying her hardest on that old sheriff, ain't she, fellas? Trying to find that old question mark. I guess it's down there, huh? Oh, Maura, don't be like that, please. How you want me to be? Well, I love you. A couple fighting over there. Something you don't really do in town, fellers. Hey now, it's them. I got them. I'm just gonna okay, surrender. Throw me in jail. <laughs> That's it. I'll take you in by the neck if I have to. So much as an inch. They caught me, fellers. Looks like I'm starting this whole episode at some jail time, huh? <laughs> That's just what all happens, I guess, out west, huh, fellas? At least they hitched my old horse up across the street, huh? Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. Now, if you're going to want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look at my catalog. Sure, what you got? I not really seem to sell a whole lot. We'll see you another time. I seem to recall a criminal telling me about a the doctor's little illegal dealings back here. I think that's what that question mark is. Now let's try not to shoot my gun this time, huh? Right, look at that, fellers. Me. Come on, open up. Looks like the long man are all involved in some kind of scheme here. Still keep the people safe. You better I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you tomorrow. Just go away. You don't want to be making trouble here, believe me.
Listen, I don't treat folks who cover up their identity. Let's get an old back room, huh? Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. I thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little business you hell? got going. Ah! Oh. What the hell? I... Oh, God. Please. Grab a ball of money, me. fellas. Thank you, thank you. You ain't killing me, you son of a bitch. Oh, ah! shit. I can't take them women for granted. I wasn't thinking she'd had anything, but, you know, that's just how it is sometimes, fellas. We know you're in there. Come on now! Shit. Dumb move. Come on, with your hands up! Oh, look at that. Ain't she a beaut? Probably about to use it here in a second. What the hell hey, happened stand to this place quick so I can get out of here, fellers. Get my hat back. Alright, we're gonna have to run out of here, fellers. Say that to me. Yeah. You? You're all right. Stay sure. the hell away from me. Looks <laughs> like they're out on my tail. <clears throat> Try to get up in these hills and lose them. The old hideout after all that. Let me take a little break, of course. You know. It's all right, girl. You're all right, you girl. Got away. The <laughs> old horse deserves a carrot after all that excitement. What do you think, fellers? Smoke break. Well deserved, if I do say so myself.
on to camp after this old cigarette break, fellas. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of robbery now. Might as well to break in the new gun the right way. Damn it! You hiding something under there? Get that damn mask off! Bad day to cross my path. You best vanish quick. Hey, partner, hold up. You think I'm an idiot? Hell no! Come on, girl. Yeah. yeah some dynamite on him. No money, unfortunately. I totally flubbed that robbery, fellers. <laughs> Excitement and fumbling around. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said, when it was convenient, to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Looks like there's some chores to get done here in all camp. Or about time to... Finish those up, you know, after all the fun and games well, in town. I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying. Kind of her being a bit of an idiot, but some about a massacre or last surviving Indian cursing the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Of course. But what was it? What was it just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Getting closer to being an honorable that chap. Very interesting. Bring these old oats over to Pearson's wagon. Then maybe when we're done with these old chores, we'll have some nice old stew to chew on. I guess you don't really you want to be chewing food, on stew. Food, or <laughs> food or money, or these bastards will eat up. Good job, Arthur. Got right in my way, old Pearson. Tell ya. Man, you can't catch a break in these times. <laughs> Good morning. Mr. Strauss. Let's get this old wood all chopped up. Sure, the night will be a bit chilly up here on this flat mesa. Good to have a bit of a fire at night, you know. Especially when you're living out of a tent and not a, a proper home. Got no real walls to cut that chill out. Pardon me.
it's relaxing doing these chores in this game. You know, a nice little break of pace after all the craziness on the outside. You get to calm down a little bit when you head back to your homestead. Good morning, Arthur. Miss O'Shea? I'll just shore up all this little donation box. I think some of the cash I've been making so far. I usually like to just drop in the loot instead of uh, handing them my cash. I kind of like to keep some of that. The loot's worth quite a bit. All right, I suppose. That's good. Good old Jack. Always trying to keep people's spirits up. Hey, Arthur, what you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's all he had to really say, fellers. We must have just woke up from a drunk nap. <laughs> oh, Arthur, it is good to be off that mountain. I never knew I could be so cold. <laughs> I know, Mary Beth. Kind of like it here. But where on earth are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. My lord. <laughs> My mother came from somewhere here. You know where? No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Mm. Mine too. Mine too. Well, I should get back to it. All right. See if I can finish up some of these chores, fellers. Hate to leave something undone, you know what I mean? Once you start it all up. And these old Arthur, horses you. need some food, you know. Not the best. Ain't they much can't going quite fend for themselves here. yet. Well, they could, but you know, this is to remind them that we're quite useful, so they sort of stick around, help us out. Well, got a suitable offering for them to stick around, though. What's the point, you know what I mean, fellers? Almost walk past the little feeding point here. I was getting deep in my meanderings. <laughs> What a shit morning. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. John behaving himself? Why are you asking me that? Just checking. Didn't mean nothing by it. Whatever. Goodbye. Well, she's in quite the good mood, fellas, let me tell you. <laughs> Try to get this old last sack of food all ready for Pearson. I don't know why these other lazy bones can't just pick up this stuff and do it and leave it to me. Uh, no respect. No respect, I tell you. One of you fellas is working at least. Oh, well, there's a little bit of respect. That's nice. Go through a lot of food in this camp, huh? work, Mr. Morgan. Oh, see, I spoke too soon. Now that I got a little bit of thanks and such. Always feels good to get thanked when you're doing a heavy load, you know? See ya, fellas.
Hey fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game. And I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.